Hello, my name is Tarek. I'm a natural bodybuilder, personal trainer, and nutritionist. Today, I'll be talking about how to stay motivated during the month of Ramadan. Use these tips to help you stay on track during Ramadan and after. Start with sitting down and thinking about what you want to achieve. Be specific about it. Don't think I want to lose weight, but instead be more precise. How much do you want to lose? When do you want to lose it by? Set small achievable goals every month for Ramadan and after. If you need to, you can put small rewards into place. Perhaps that new gym top you have your eye on, a homemade pizza or similar treat or a movie to watch after achieving that goal. Think about how you will feel once you have achieved your goal. How will you feel when you cross that finish line of a 5k race? Or the feeling you get when you see yourself drop 5kg? Or better, when you hit your goal weight? What do you see? What emotions do you have? Then every time things get hard, think of these emotions. Think how proud your family and friends will be. Attach these emotions to your goals. Be accountable. Take monthly measurements during Ramadan and progress pictures alongside weighing yourself, not the scale. Scales can be inaccurate, so it helps to have other ways to monitor your progress. Use social media, considering announcing your goals or posting updates of your journey on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok. When you tell people what you're doing, it makes you more likely to do it. Find something you like. It's no good going to a spinning class if you hate riding a bike or walking if you don't like it. Try going to the gym. If you don't like lifting weights, try different workout classes. Find something you enjoy and there will be a greater likelihood of you sticking with it. Cardio doesn't have to be running. Think outside the box. It could be kickboxing, skipping, to name but a few. Get organized and planned. What class will you do in the gym? What exercise will you do on the weekend? Plan what you're going to cook. Write a weekly menu and a shopping list. Involve the family. Get their thoughts and ideas. Make it a family event. Take your shopping list to the supermarket and you won't forget your items and fall prey to the confectionery aisle. Buy a new diary and write in your workouts and plans. Be sure to prioritize your exercise time. After a few weeks, you will get into a routine and exercising will no longer feel like a chore. Make sure you have your workout gear ready in the car or at the end of your bed, ready in the morning. Take it easy. Don't deliberately aim for a calorie deficit diet. You will naturally eat less and be on a deficit due to restricted times of eating. Too much calorie restriction will result in low energy levels, quick fatigue, and under recovery. Compensate for lost nutrition by taking a multivitamin. Remember your protein. Make sure you have protein in all your meals from iftar to suhoor. You can have your protein shakes as snacks, but make sure that you get your protein in your last meal from a solid food because solids digest slower than liquids, which will help decrease hunger levels the next day. Be conservative. Although Ramadan is a great opportunity to lose weight, some actually gain weight during this month. And I'm not talking about muscle. Many overindulge during iftar and it's rather easy to overeat when you go without food for a whole day. Keep an eye on how much you eat and do so in moderation. Drink up. Make sure you stay well hydrated and get plenty of water, especially after exercise and after suhoor. You want to be consistently drinking water from the time of iftar to the time of suhoor, so you don't flush it all out and end up thirsty the next day. Put the work in now and soon your Ramadan resolutions will become a reality. Hope you liked this episode. Have a happy, healthy Ramadan.